hi friends today i'll teach you about accounts receivable it is a important topic and uh, if you'll go any interview or uh, an mnc so we should know the process how it will work so in mnc so they will assign only sub ledger wise you know like accounts payable receivable reconciliation like that so we should know the process so here it is a process based on the terms agreed between between the both parties seller has right to collect money from their customers on their outstanding invoice example wisdom media sold goods worth of 1 lakh to a customer and the payment terms are from the date of invoice 30 days see before order from customer so both parties they will discuss about the terms and delivery schedule all these details and where to ship the material and all so based on that they will mention clearly in the sales order so the terms and where to ship the material and all so here if you take an example wisdom media sold goods worth of 1 lakh to a customer and the payment terms are from the date of invoice 30 days 30 days suppose wisdom media has sold goods on 1st may 1st may so the due date will come 30th of may so you, you can pay 30 uh, 30th of may or before that so like that will mention everything in the customer order okay here we'll go step by step process sales quotation the first is sales quotation we'll send quote to a customer who wants to buy a products from us okay it indicates price of each product payment terms and delivery time frame so sales quotation in that will mention all the details you know what is the price what is the quantity each quantity what is the price and uh, what is the uh, time frame for delivery of goods and uh, how much time it will take out 10 days 15 days from the date of order or and what are the payment terms so these all will mention sales quotation so wisdom media will send quotation to a customer because customer wants to enquire so what is the cost of the product at each product and uh, he want to know so for that will send a quote so this is our price this is our terms like that so once once they will work okay with the our price and all okay they will release sales order okay the next step is sales order from customer will receive sales order from customer once buyer has finalized the sales quotation which we have sent to customer which we have sent to customer once they once they they okay with that so they'll release the order customer order so which we have sent okay sales order indicates date of quote okay for reference purpose so when we send quote so on you know what and which date and price of product so what we have mentioned the sales quotation that the same they will put there in sales order and uh, and delivery time frame within 10 days or 15 days and shift to address so where to ship the material that also customer will mention in that customer order and payment terms okay here there is no accounting in the both steps so no accounting entry or sales quotation and there is no accounting entry the third step is delivery once we receive the order from customer based on the terms agreed between the parties so accordingly we have to arrange the material we'll send delivery chalan along with the goods so once material is ready so along with the material we'll send delivery chalan so we should take sign and signature of goods receiver okay here for our reference wisdom media is sending the goods and along with that so we'll tell we'll send 
delivery chalan there in delivery chalan they will mention clearly what is the customer order number and uh, order date and what is our delivery chalan number what is the delivery date and everything will mention in that delivery chalan and will take sign and signature of goods receiver we are receiving the goods from customer side so will take stamp and signature and uh, the receiver contact number also so for our reference the same thing will file into our records okay here also there is no accounting entry and invoice okay sometimes we'll send invoice along with the goods sometimes we'll courier it to the customer here here invoice should match with total sales order value and quantity so we should cross check before posting the invoice in our books of records what we received order from customer what is the total value and the value should be match with invoice what we have raised in case of if we are delivering total order total order goods that should match quantity and value should be match okay the entry will be customer so customer in balance sheet will show in sundry data under current assets and what are the sales the sales should be 5% or 14.5% the vat what is the output vat so 14.5 or 5% sales under sales under sales account will create so in case of tally will create under sales output vat output vat under duties and taxes because we are collecting from tax okay and payment from customer here we have to recheck whether we have received total due from due, due amount or partial amount to be received so once we receive check or any rtgs or any neft so we have to check so what is the, our total invoice value suppose our total invoice value is 1 lakh the payment should be 1 lakh only so we have to cross verify sometimes sometime customer will direct tds in case of service related so if you are providing any service in that case customer will deduct tds so automatically the balance will not match suppose on 1 lakh 10 percent is 10000 so after deducting of tds 10 percent is he'll pay 90000 only as per our books of account the due from customer is 1 lakh in that case the balance will not match so we should recheck while posting the invoices so we have to recheck while posting the accounting entry so here so amount am amount we are receiving so that will debit to bank our bank and from where from customer okay from customer we are receiving okay and reconciliation the last step is reconciliation it is a very important step step here we have to do reconciliation if the balance is not matching between our books of records and customer books of records here we have to do reconciliation in case uh, example so with the for example wisdom media wisdom media is selling the products to a customer so in a year so m maybe it's like you know more than uh 10 100 times like that so in that case each invoice each order wise we have to recheck sometimes balance will, will not match in that case we have to check each transaction wise what we have built and what we received what we have built and what we have received like that in case of is the regular customer in that case if we have more transaction with the same customer in that case the reconciliation is mandatory okay in case of one time transaction i think not required because one time transaction that we can easily find out so that is you know we sold some one lakh worth of goods and we received one lakh there is no reconciliation if we have multiple transactions with the same customer so the multiple transactions may be 100 or maybe more than 100 or in that case the balance should match okay uh, coming to our books of records 
will create customer ledger under sundry data okay under current current assets coming to customer books of records they will create our company name suppose we are wisdom media is selling goods to some customer in customer books of accounts wisdom media name create under sundry creditor because they should pay us okay so financial year end balance should match in the both books of accounts we suppose in my in wisdom media books of accounts under current assets data so it is showing like 1 lakh due from customer the same thing in customer books of accounts under current liabilities that should be 1 lakh payable to wisdom media that both balance should match and i'll show you how to post the entries in tally i have already created the ledger now accounting voucher go to accounting voucher accounting voucher now it's sales no sales sales reference number and raj enterprises is our customer sales 14.5 say 1 lakh and output vat 14.5 percent the tax will calculate automatically so based on the tax class so we should give the same tax class while creating this sales at 14.5 and output vat the same should match then automatically it will calculate say if you want to see so i have created so keep the cursor on output vat and click on control plus enter so output vat duties and taxes vat output vat and like this i have here tax class i mentioned output vat 14.5 percentage here okay here it should be match and here also here also okay i have created under sales accounts okay this is 114500 okay now payment from customer receipt from draz enterprises how much 1 lakh 14000 so we'll see we'll go to balance sheet current assets here sundry data raj enterprises okay this is okay 1 lakh 14500 and world is 10500 okay 1 lakh 14500 from raj enterprises 1 lakh 14000 against reference which reference we used this one okay and this is credited to our bank account hdfc bank lakh 14000 being amount received from raj enterprises and go back and we'll check again go to balance sheet current assets sundry data here this worth of goods we sold and total amount we received okay like that we have to check account receivable okay 
Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.